What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to bring you guys a little guide on how to add background blur, also known as depth of field, to your photos on an iPhone. So this is very helpful, as you guys can see in the picture here. The one on the right is kind of like just a normal photo that you'll take a lot of times with an iPhone, and then the one on the left is kind of like a, a higher quality look, and it's not really higher quality, it's just that you're, you're blurring out the background and you're focusing on one area. Now, higher-end cameras that have a manual focus feature, they can do this and you can focus in on whatever depth of field, whatever distance you want, but with the iPhone's autofocusing feature, a lot of times you'll get photos that look like the one on the right. Now, sometimes the iPhone does a good job of this, especially if you have like an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7 and the photo you're taking is within like a couple of feet, but there's a lot of times where you'll take photos and everything kind of just looks like it's from one distance. Nothing really has that nice background blur to it that makes the target object look very crisp and clear. So this was the issue I was having. A lot of my photos were coming out like the one on the right and not the one on the left. So I actually found this app for the iPhone. It's called Fab Focus and you can find it on the App Store. And it only costs, at the time of this video, it costs about $2.99. And I know that's a little bit on the higher side for a photo editing app on iPhone, but let me tell you, it's definitely worth it. So once you download this app, the way it's designed is you basically just import your photos. I'm going to use a photo here of some friends at a football game. And what you're going to do is you're going to import the photo and it will automatically detect faces and it will it'll work with those faces and it will make them the focal point and it will make everything in the background it will give it a blurry effect and as you guys will see in a moment after it's done it takes like it takes maybe as much as 30 seconds to like identify everything and decide where it wants to put the blur but once it does you guys will see the result and the result right away looks very good and besides importing photos you can also take photos directly through the app with a camera and once it detects everything it adds a blur to the background and it looks good right away but you can also go further and I would suggest going further hit the edit button and you can see all the areas that they've automatically highlighted green those are going to be the areas of focus those are going to be what comes up clear and then anything that's not highlighted green will be the blurry background so you can then go in and they have all sorts of different shape tools I'm using a circle tool right here to highlight different areas green that it may have missed and there's also an eraser tool to erase any areas that shouldn't be highlighted green and you can also change the degree of blur in the background now they have some really strong ones that make it very blurry and it's kind of easy to tell that it was edited I would say the first three ones from the left to the right are the best ones those are like the very light blurs and those are the ones that really look authentic so in my opinion that edit tool is really the key to this app and how it allows you to customize what areas you want to be blurry and what areas you don't a lot of times you'll have photos of maybe an object so it won't detect a face it will take you straight to the editing mode and you'll highlight what areas you want it to have the highest quality on and what areas you want to be blurry but it's just a really simple application to use and the features are so good I think it really enhances photos a lot and I'm going to show you guys some quick examples right here of some before and afters I've done with some of my own photos and how I've enhanced them and made them look a lot better by adding some depth of field so I know it's not crazy impressive, but with some photos you can really enhance them and really make them look pretty cool and look like they were taken with a more high-end camera. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing content just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.